Boys Town was founded to give aid and comfort to children. And Boys Town National Research Hospital shares that deep and abiding goal. In fact, our Boys Town Cares commitment furthers that mission. Whenever you visit us and your child needs to have an immunization, blood drawn, or any other procedure that children find stressful, we are here to help you comfort your child. How can we help? We're providing you with resources to make your child's doctor's office visit as uneventful as possible. With our CARES options, we'll help you find the best ways to comfort and distract your child. So, what are our CARES options? CARES is comprised of five simple steps that help children of all ages cope with the stress of pokes and procedures. Now, Christina, one of our certified child life specialists here at Boys Town National Research Hospital, will further explain CARES. First, we have comfort positions that help tame some of those wiggles and help your child feel safer. Let's look at some comfort positions recommended for infants 6 to 12 months of age. If your child is still a bit of a cuddler and on the younger end of this age group, you can cradle your child while leaving one arm free for the lap draw. For the back to chest comfort position, place your child in your lap facing forward. Wrap your arms around your child and hold their hands and arms securely, like a seatbelt. And then like a seatbelt, you'll tighten up when you need to. To help hold their legs still, you can scissor your legs over the lower half of their legs because moving legs can make the whole body move. For the chest to chest comfort position, place your child on your lap facing you with their legs straddling you. Make sure they can't use their legs or their feet to push away from you. Tuck your child's free arm into their chest and the arm they use for the lab draw will come out under your arm. You may need to scooch them over to one side so it's easier to get their arm. Give them a big hug and make sure that arm stays tucked inside. If you prefer the side sit comfort position, place your child on your lap so that one of their shoulders leans into your body. Cross their free arm over their tummy while again using your arm like a seatbelt, and don't forget to tighten up when needed. The arm they use for the lab draw will be out to the side and on a stable surface to help hold it still. Remember to keep them in a firm hug. Alleviating pain at this age can be significantly reduced by breastfeeding or the use of a sucrose solution like Sweeties. Mom should start breastfeeding two to five minutes before the poke, and if using sucrose, the pacifier should be dipped in Sweeties and given to your baby about two minutes before the poke. For babies six weeks and older, Buzzy is a little bee that vibrates above the lab draw site, causing the body to trick itself into not feeling the full sensation of the needle. It can be used along with Sweeties. If you're able to plan ahead a little, your doctor can prescribe LMX or Emla cream that helps numb the area where the poke will take place. LMX takes about 30 minutes to work and Emla takes 60 minutes, and they are also available over the counter. If you'd like to use one of them, your doctor's office or your pharmacy can tell you how to apply it. Fortunately, refocusing attention at this age group is easy with a wide variety of simple methods. Shushing, singing, and even a white noise machine can distract from other things that are happening. Of course, a favorite light up or sound toy or even bubbles will provide a delightful distraction for children at this age. We always strive to provide your child and you with a calm and supportive environment that is welcoming and not overstimulating. Let us know if there is anything we can do. And if, despite all the efforts to ease the discomfort of the poke, your child does cry, it's okay. Soothe them immediately with a smile, singing, or those bubbles or light-up toys. You know what works best for your child. So there you have it. Boys Town Cares. Comfort positions, alleviate pain, refocus attention, a calm environment, and soothing techniques. All the ideas you'll need to make the blood draw less traumatic for you and your child. 